wants us to stay on those old paths, doesn't he? Because those old paths will take you to the places that you really need to go. And we realize that in the book of Jeremiah, Judah has backslidden had they, they, they were in a backslidden position. We realized that it was one of those times where instead of them listening to God and doing what God wanted them to do, they were all out in doing their own thing, uh, serving the false gods. The kings weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing to, to follow God or none of that. So there, this was a situation when Judah had backslidden. And you know... When you think about it in our world in that same situation right now, where our world is in a backslidden position, where there are those that are more lovers of self than they are of God. In a situation where we're going through things like this right now, churches should be full. Churches should be packed. People should be wanting to, 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 to come back to the old path. Come back to that first love. Come back to that place where, 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 like I said last week, mama and daddy and, and big mama and big papa, auntie and uncle, we all had somebody that brought us to church. Amen? All right. So we know, we know about church. And there are those that are out there in the world right now that started their lives right out here at Freedom. There are those that started at Macedonia, wherever you want to say, Bethlehem Road Church. They started out in church. Mm -hmm. But instead of staying on that path, well. they decided to try to start out and make a new path. Mm. And, and, and see, that's the thing we have to understand. Many who are saved are, are following God, but they're not doing it the way they're supposed to. They're, they're following God from afar off. And, and, and they have departed from off of those old paths. Mm. But see, just like God exhorted and, and, and wanted and told Judah that they needed to return and find those old paths. And if they found those old paths, what did he say in that passage? He would give them rest for their souls. Yeah. So just as Judah needed to find those old paths, we in the United States, we in the world today need to find those old paths. Do I have a witness? Now what are you talking about about old paths? I'm talking about things that we used to do that, 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 that we knew were things that were of God. That, 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 that were things that his word tells us to do. Like what, Pastor? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. One of the first paths that we need to go down is we need to return to the path of prayer. Amen? Amen. The Bible tells us that we should pray without ceasing, doesn't it? Amen. Jesus, Jesus gave us the example of, of the Lord's Prayer of how we should pray and not faint. Right. And we have examples throughout the Bible where uh, 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 prophets and and the men of God pray. Think about how when Elijah prayed. The prophets of Baal had been out there cutting all on themselves, yelling, just being obnoxious, doing all kinds of stuff. Right. And their old idol of God didn't ever come and do anything right. to, 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 to the altar. Mm -hmm. But when Elijah prayed, yes. the Bible tells us that fire rained down from heaven. And Elijah had made it to where everything that was on the altar was saturated with water. All right. It was so saturated with water that they had to make a little gully around the altar. And the water was, was up in there. But the Bible says that when the fire rained after Elijah prayed, not only did God consume the, 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 the sacrifice, but he consumed the water, everything. So it lets you know when you pray and talk to God, God can bring the fire that you really need. Then what about Moses? When the children of Israel were standing with Pharaoh behind them and the Red Sea in front of them, and all they wanted to do was fuss and complain, Moses, you done brought us out here just to die. 
You should have just left us in Egypt where we were. At least we didn't have to worry about Pharaoh's army trying to kill us. But what the Bible says happened. Moses prayed. And when he prayed, God told him, what's that in your hand, Moses? He said, a rod. He said, stretch that rod out. Right. And when he stretched that rod out, the Bible tells us that the Red Sea opened up. Right. And the children of Israel walked across on dry land. Right. So it lets us know that when we pray, and we have that right relationship to, with God, God can make a way out of nowhere. Do I have some witnesses here that know what prayer can do? Because, see, I understand that not only do we pray, but Christ commanded us to pray, didn't he? Yes. Like I said, he told us that it was part of God's plan for each and every one of us to pray. Amen. For us to be able to talk to him. And, and, and when we do pray, that lets God know that we want to talk to him. Right. And then he can talk back to us. Right. Because there's never going to be, you can't have, you can't expect God to talk to you if you don't want to talk to him. <laughs> It can't be a one-sided conversation, can it? I don't know how many of y'all want to get on the phone with somebody and, and, and the person that you're trying to talk to don't say a word. <laughs> and, but, and, and, and you're trying to have a conversation. It doesn't happen. That's true. You have to be able to talk to God yeah. so that he will be able to talk to you. And, and we can see that that, that that works, doesn't it? Because look at the early church. The church was started in prayer, what? The Bible says in Acts that when they got up to the upper room, they were in one accord, weren't they? And they were praying. And when they began to pray, that was when the sound of a mighty rushing wind came around. And the Holy Spirit engulfed them to where there were tongues of fire over each of their heads. And not only did it start in prayer, but it continued in prayer, didn't it? Every time you looked up, the new church, the, the early church, was praying. They prayed in time of persecution, and they prayed when, 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 when one of the apostles or, or was in jail. You'd hear that they were praying for that person, and something good always came out of it. So my brother and my sisters, I, I, I say that to say this. We need to stay on that path of prayer, don't we? I, I know for myself that prayer would change things. Amen. If we just pray and talk to the Lord, stay on that path. <laughs> Let him be the God of our salvation. And realize that, Father, when we say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee, there is no other help we know. Then what's another path that we need to take? We need to truly take that path of love. And, 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 and right now, isn't, isn't there a lot of love being shown? There's a lot of love being shown by people. There, 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 there's, not, uh, there's still a lot of hate being shown. Believe you me. There, there's still a lot of people that, 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 that you know, where there was this man that, that tried to stop a, a Black Lives Matter rally and he, he had, his, he had his, his gun and his KKK mask. But that didn't stop things. People still rally. And, and there are, there's so much love that's being shown. Yes. There's love being shown to the families of these people who have been killed. Right. But that's not the only love that we need to show is. Mm -hmm. We need to show that agape love. Amen. We need to show people that love that runs from heart to heart. Right. And from breast to breast. That unconditional love. Amen. That says even though you might be trying to stab me in my back. I'm still going to love you. Even though you never have a good word to say about me or to me, I'm still going to love you. All right. Even though all you've ever done is thrown stones at me, you've thrown them at me left and right, it doesn't matter because I'm still going to love you. Why? Jesus commanded it, didn't he? Yeah. He said for us to love one another. Amen. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Because what, what, how in the world, like the Bible says, can you say you love God who you've never seen? And then you hate every day on your fellow man that you constantly see daily. Well, it doesn't work like that. Amen. You, if, if you love God, you're supposed to love your fellow man as well. Do I have some witnesses? Right. The Bible says what? We, have, we show that we have been moved from death unto life. How? By showing love to the brethren. 
So that means we have to show people that we are a, a, a loving community right. as Christians. We can't always be spewing hate at folks. You know, and, and you know, you can't you can't live by an eye by an eye, mm. or a tooth by for a tooth. Right. You know, and a lot of people and, and us as African American folks, you got it bad. <laughs> Somebody do us one way. Wait a minute, if you think you gonna do me like that, I'm gonna two times what you did to me, right. and I'm gonna show you who really got it going down, who really got it going on. But that's not the way it should be, y'all. Uh-huh. We should show love yeah. instead of hate. Amen. 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 Yeah. Because what did the Bible say? Greater love has no man than this, than you lay your life down for a friend. And then wasn't, wasn't Christ our friend? He showed us that he was our friend. Because he laid his life down for us. And there's not a many, a lot of us that's going to lay our lives down for a friend, for kinfolk, for, 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 our, for our mate, any of that. You know, yeah, yeah, we, we'll, we'll throw them out there to the wolves before we jump out there for ourselves. And we'll make sure that they have, we'll make sure they have on a, 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 a T-bone necklace <laughs> before we turn ourselves out there to do it. But it says, greater love has no man than this, that he lay his life down for a friend. And see, our love should be manifested how? through our deeds. All right. If we walk the walk, and we should also talk the talk. If we if, if we say we love, just like just like a, a preacher said, he said, uh, and there's so many of us as Christians that walk around here and say, I love you in the Lord. I love you in the Lord. Oh, I love you in the Lord. But if I didn't love you in the Lord, I'd hate your guts. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. If you have God in love, it's supposed to flow through you just like a rushing river. It, 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 you should be able to show that love every day, regardless of who or whom it may be. As a Christian, you know, even even these people, even these even these people who 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 who, who despitefully want to use us, even these people who don't want to consider us as 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 American citizens, even those that want to still say that slavery slavery was an important part. Of American history. We still need to show them love don't we? Because we were sinners. When Jesus showed us love. What work? We were at enmity. We were enemies of God. When Jesus showed us love. And God still showed us love. When we were his enemies. And if we are truly Christians. We have to show that same love don't we? We have to show that love regardless of how hard it may be sometimes. Because our human side wants to come out and, and, and show that anger, show that frustration. We still have to show love. Amen. Amen. And not only do we need to show love, we also need to show compassion. We need to stay on that. Because, see, love, what is that compassion? That's love for your brethren. That, and, and compassion for the lost. Think about it. Christ was again our example, wasn't he? He, he? he, the Bible says that when he saw those among them who were sick, who were lame, who 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 who, who, who were, were were full of demons and all of that stuff, what did the Bible say? He had compassion you, on them, yeah. and he healed them, and he took care of them, and did the things that he was supposed to do. Now, what does it mean to have compassion? It means to have pity. To, 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 to put that pity, that feeling of pityness into action. To do something. That's why even he had to weep over the whole city of Jerusalem. He said, how many times have I taken you into my, it, it, up, just like a mother takes that baby bird into their wings and try to comfort them and protect them. But you still turn your back on them. Mm-hmm. Think about that. He has shown that type of compassion. And, and why? Did he show that compassion? Because he loved them. And it should be the same way for us as Christians. We should show compassion for those that are out there in the world. Why? Because we know they are bound for hell and for destruction. And it should make us feel something within ourselves, feel some type of way, as they say now, that where we should have compassion on them and be able to go out there and let them know that Jesus loves them. You know, the Bible tells us, 
that that, 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 that the harvest truly is great. But the laborers are few, huh? Amen. So we need to pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will see and labor us into his fields. Right. Because we all need to work. Amen. There are so many, like I said, that it, 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 when we are doing our job, we're going out there and telling the world that Jesus lives. Thank you. And that he is our way maker. He is our heart fixer. He is our mind regulator. And, and if you just turn it over to him, he can make it all right. And that's where that's that's where our compassion comes in, because there are so many that says, "Well, if they on their way to hell, they on their way to hell." I I gotta get my I, I'm too worried about me right now to be worried about somebody else. But that's not showing compassion. You should be, you know, the, the Bible tells us, and and the way it should be is we should put God first, then uh, 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 others second, then ourselves last. We should be the last one on the list. But a lot of people want to say me first, me second, and me third. They ain't worried about God or nobody else. They're only concerned about themselves. But when we show that compassion, it lets us know, just like the Apostle Paul was, he was one who showed compassion. He had been one that, that, had, that, that had done so many bad things in his life. But when he turned his life around, he began showing compassion. And when he started showing that compassion... He started trying to tell people, you need to be on the path of living for God. All right. Amen? 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 God wants holy people, doesn't he? Yes, Lord. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. All right. He wants us to be in this world, but not of this world. Right. He wants us to be able to stand out like a sore thumb mm -hmm. in a crowd of people. Well, where everybody will be able to know that there is a difference in us. There's something different about your walk. There's something different about your talk. There's something different about the way you live your life. Amen. And it's all because we have lived for the Lord. Because when we are holy, it means that we have separated ourselves from the filthiness of both of the flesh and of the spirit. Because, you know, it, 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 as, as human beings... The devil going to try to always mess with us, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's going to try to do something to knock us off of the way that we live for God. But it is up to us to stay and hold on to the bloodstained battle. Amen. To be able to say, devil, regardless of how many times you try to come at me with your fiery darts, we have to be just like it says, God is our buckler. He is our shield. He will be there for us in good times. And he will be there for us in bad times. Well, he will be there for us uh, when we're up. And he will be uh, there for us when we are down. Well, uh, we need to return uh, to living for God. Uh, because as long as we are out there living for the devil, uh, we are on the wrong path. Right. We are on that path uh, that leadeth to destruction. Yeah. Now, but if we turn around uh, and go back to the old paths, right. uh, we need to go like the song says, go back to the old time mark right. and let us stand in uh, the service of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, stand in uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, just like we say we do on Sunday. It should not just be uh, when we come down here uh, to this church uh, that we try to say that we are holy. Uh, but people uh, should be able to see us uh, living for God uh, each and every day. Uh, do I have some witnesses? Uh, we might be uh, the only Bible uh, that some people can read. Uh, and if we always live in, uh, in the lust of our hearts uh, and in our minds, uh, we're not showing them anything good. Uh, we have to learn uh, how to show people uh, that even when uh, people are against you, uh, you still have to love them. Uh, when people uh, are trying to put you down, uh, you still need to try to lift them up. Uh, and still, uh, when people uh, want to throw and fight with you, uh, 
Instead of you being like Madea and finding peace, be still. You find true peace down in your heart. Because just think if Jesus felt the way we did. Just think if Jesus did not have the, or had the same ideas that we have. He would have never went to the cross because his human side didn't want to die. Am I right, somebody? Because the Bible says when he knew that it was time for him to die. After the Last Supper, he had to go out to the Garden of Gethsemane. And get by himself and pray. He had to pray because the human side said, I don't want to go through this whooping. I don't want to go through getting sped on. I don't want to go through getting beat up. I don't want to get hit by those cat and nine tails. I don't want them to put the nails in my hand on my feet. But because he was walking in the right path, he said, not my will, not my will, but your will, God, need to be done. And he died till the price was paid. Didn't he do it? He died till the sun stopped shining. He died till the moon dripped away in blood. He died till the streets of Jerusalem shook like a drug man. He died till the dead in Jerusalem got up and walked the streets. He died till the centurion said, Surely, 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 this is the Son of God. They put him down in that barry tomb. And on that first getting up morning, he rose with all power. I said all power. All power of heaven and earth in his hands. And right now, he's still making intercessions for us. So my brothers and my sisters, as I prepare to go to my seat, just remember to stay on the right path. The Bible tells us that if we acknowledge him, he will make sure we stay on the right path. So acknowledge him in your walk Acknowledge him in your talk Acknowledge him in your everyday living And just stay on the right path for him Because one day he's coming back again Hallelujah To receive us unto himself That where he is We may be also So let us just stay on the right path Path to pray the path of love, the path of, path of compassion, and, and the path of living for God. Let's stay on those paths and watch and see if God won't continue to make a way out of no way. Amen. He did it for those in the Bible, and if he'll do it for them, he'll do it for us. But we just have to hold on and hold out. This world and this society is trying to, 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 to tell us that there is so many other things to be done well, instead of serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I heard a long time ago, ago serving the Lord we'll will pay off all right, all right. after a while. Yes, right. You just keep on striving mm -hmm. each and every day. The song says, whatever is right, God said he will pay. So we just need to continue to serve him and not ourselves, not the devil, but serve God. And it will pay off because we will one day receive that crown of life. So God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. And there may be one here today who is out of the ark of safety. Who would like to come and be a part of the family of God. And if so, we welcome you to come at this point in time. 
The doors of the church are now open. Jesus opened them over 2,000 years ago. But one day he's coming back again. And when he comes back again, those doors that were open will be closed. So while the opportunity is here, we welcome you to come. And if there's one that may end up watching this, like I always say, that is out of the ark of safety, we invite you to come to be a part of the family of God. Just turn from your wicked ways. Confess the Lord. Know that he is the one that is the maker, the creator, and the sustainer. And that he sent his son to die in your stead. And if you accept that and you confess it, the Bible says that you are saved. So if there's anyone at this time during this invitation, talk to the Lord. Pray for those that you may know who needs to be able to receive his Holy Spirit. Amen. Continue to walk on the right path in Jesus' name.